Hey, it's Tim Guitar, and today I'm going to talk about a new pickup that I just purchased. It's the Seymour Duncan Dimebucker. <laughs> looked at the uh looked into buying this it was around 109 dollars for the bridge model of the uh of the pickup which is still a great deal and you know you're getting some amazing quality when you buy from seymour duncan it's a humbucker and it's passive pickup they uh rate this for about 16 and a half dcr on the website uh and they do say it's it's a hot pickup and the way that they're rating the tone profile of this pickup is you're really high on your bass, you're really high on your treble, and you're really cut in the midsection, which is what Dimebag Dural was known for. One thing that really, really stood out to me is that it's the coils are sort of encased into another plastic case, and it really gives this pickup like this very stout, and very like beefy feeling vibe um, it looks pretty tall as well compared to you know compared to other pickups and maybe that's just because the case that it's in um, you know is covering the entire pickup with this being a full humbucker sized rail pickup i'm expecting even more umph and crunch and tone uh, to come out of this. I don't know why. It's just sort of uh, something I, I feel like is going to happen uh, once this is wired up into the guitar. The pickup I'm taking out of the Stratocaster is the Nazgul pickup. And that, from my understanding, was supposed to be a very heavy and very low type of a, type of a pickup. But looking at the website, the Nazgul is rated at 13.6 on the DCR. And the tone profile of the pickup is very mid and very treble heavy with very low lows. So going from the 13.6 DCR pickup, the Nazgul, to the 16.5, the Dimebucker, and, and then a completely different tone profile on, uh, on the pickup. So it'll be interesting to see and to, and to hear if we can really hear the difference. Hey, you still can't see my freaking forehead. Hey, 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 I'm back and the Dimebucker is in the guitar and uh, man, this thing looks so sweet. I've already goofed around with the pickup height so, uh, so it doesn't feed back a lot. It is a hotter pickup so it does feed back more than the Nazgul pickup did. I'll throw the sound sample up.
some riffs with the new Dimebucker pickup. <laughs> heard a few things. You've heard the sound sample from the Nazgul and you've heard the sound sample from the uh, Dimebucker pickup and those are with the same settings, the same audio settings run through the uh, run through Logic uh, with the Rev G3 pedal on and then you've heard some live playing right now and everything's been recorded through the Sennheiser E906 microphone today um, so I hope you've enjoyed the demo. I'm a big fan of Pantera and, uh, and Dimebag Daryl's playing. Um, the sound that he has is what I've always tried to uh, achieve and I think having the pickup does get you one step closer. Um, I can definitely tell a big cut in the midsection of this pickup, uh, something that none of the other ones really have because the other ones have completely different uh, tone profiles. So it is pretty cool to have this pickup and to have that sound profile available in my arsenal of tone and guitars here. So if you do have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments below and I'll make, I'll make sure I get back to you on that. Um, as always, I do appreciate you watching. Thank you. I'm Tim Guitar and I'll talk to you next time.